Hello, you guys. Today, we are checking in at Disney's Boardwalk Villas. We are staying in a newly renovated deluxe studio, and we actually have a Boardwalk view, which I'm so excited about. I cannot wait to show you around this room, so let's go. Before we dive into the actual room tour, I did want to give a look into the hallways because these have been renovated as well. So you have these really cute light fixtures with all the characters up top, super fun, fresh paint, new carpet. And I did notice there are some hidden Mickeys throughout the carpet as well. So. Super cute, but let's dive into the room. We are room 4029, and as soon as you walk in, you have a little bit of an entryway here, so perfect for a stroller or if you wanna store some luggage. You also have a full-length mirror on this side and some really cute artwork of Mickey and Minnie at the boardwalk. Very cute. And to my right is your kitchenette. So a lot of amazing upgrades here. So you have your sink, dish soap, dish towel and sponge. And this was upgraded from a regular coffee pot to also include the Keurig machine with the individual K-cups, which is really nice. So you have both options here. You have a microwave, paper towels, toaster, and ice bucket. Up here is plates, plastic plates and bowls, and plastic cups and coffee cups. Up here, you have a wine opener and plasticware, and an additional roll of paper towels. And down here is your refrigerator. Now this does not have a freezer compartment, but this is an actual refrigerator because we are in a DVC studio. And under mm. here is your trash bin and recycle bin. Now turning around, let me back up here, is your bathroom. Now. This setup has been the same pre-renovation, but one thing to note here is this does not close off. So there is no sliding barn door or anything. So if you are up early in the morning getting ready while the rest of your family is sleeping or you put your little ones to bed and you're getting ready for bed later in the evening, keep in mind the light, there's really no way to block the light, but that is just one minor thing to take note of. And here is your closet. So a decent amount of space. I mean, this goes back pretty deep. <laughs> so really great space if you need to store some luggage. Lots of extra pillows and blankets up top, your steam iron, as well as your safe and ironing board and lots of hangers. And this looks very nice. I love the update here, very modern. So single vanity, you have outlet, your lit makeup mirror, and right here is your blow dryer. You do have a little bit of storage, and especially if you take these towels out, I mean, this goes back pretty deep. So really great for makeup bags, toiletry bags, whatever you are traveling with. And same thing in here, lots of extra storage. So that is fantastic. Trash bin and more storage in here. I am noticing now if this is pulled out and someone is trying to come out of the toilet area or the shower, this is gonna hit the door. So another minor thing to be aware of. And some extra towels, you have your bath soap and body lotion. Now coming into the second part of the bathroom, right when you open the door, you have the extra towel hooks right here, your toilet and your shower tub combo with a sliding glass door. So really great that this has been updated from the shower curtain. And I love that you have the extra little ledge here for additional toiletries. You have your H2O products body wash, conditioner, and the shampoo. So pretty standard, but still really nice. And then a lovely little picture here of 
the courtyard area of the boardwalk. Okay, so coming out of the bathroom, let's move into the main area here. So directly to your right, you have an additional mirror right here. So if someone else needs to be getting ready in the morning, this is another great spot for that because you have a lot of counter space up top here. So this is fantastic. And then you have a little bit of storage here, not a ton. So that is one thing with this renovation that I'm noticing is there's not a lot of dresser space. And then underneath here, because they took out the table and chairs, you have these little stools. So of course you can move those wherever you need around the room. And then here is your pull down fifth sleeper bed. And I love the artwork here with Minnie and Mickey at the pool. I really do love the theming and the direction that they have taken the boardwalk, kind of that Victorian era with the Fab Five. So really fun. And then flipping this up so you can see what it looks like when it's not pulled down. Lots of space really sleek, very modern feeling. Let me know down below in the comments how you're feeling about this renovation. Um, it's really beautiful, very classy, but let me know what you think. Okay, turning around is your queen bed. And this reminds me of the deluxe studios at Grand Floridian with that plaid, print um, for the headboard. So I really like it. I, I love the colors. I love the little pop of blues and greens that they have in here. And to my left, you have some more artwork of Minnie, Mickey, and Pluto. And one thing I really appreciate is this additional ledge here. <laughs> so if you are a person who sleeps on this side of the bed, that's always been an issue in these rooms prior to the renovation is there's no little nightstand or anything to put your phone, bottle of water, you know, so you have an outlet and then some lighting right here. And then you also have the little reading lights. Well, that one seems to be not working right now, but <laughs> typically that would be a reading light on both sides of the bed. And then coming over to this side, you also have that other reading light. Okay, that one works. And then more outlets. I don't see any additional USBs right here. Double checking under here, just some more storage. And yeah, a little bit of drawer space right there. But it looks like you just have the two outlets and two USBs right there. So I love that these are a new addition to all Disney Resort hotel rooms. My daughter absolutely loves the bedtime stories and I love that it gives you kind of a rundown of what Hey Disney can offer. So you can ask for the weather, uh, an alarm, tell me a joke, let's play trivia, read me a story. Uh, yeah, lots of different fun fun things here. So definitely worth checking out, especially if you have little kids. It's a really fun interactive feature. And then backing up, Ellie's doing her Play-Doh as usual, if you've seen any of my other room tours. But this is the pull down Murphy bed. And you have the lovely blue green couch that they've continued that color scheme here with the little Mickey pillows with Goofy and Max up here hanging out at the pool. Very fun. And then let me pull this down so you can see what this looks like. All right, move these. And thankfully, this little coffee table is on wheels. <laughs> so it's not too much of a hassle to move out of the way. Okay. All right, and here is what it looks like all pulled down. So Goofy and Max sleeping in at the boardwalk. Again, I, I really do love the theming with the characters here. Really, really special, really cute. And let me go around and check out this light switch over here. So that is lit up there. And then I always like to check out the curtains, of course. So you have the silhouettes 
of all the characters. Donald, Minnie, and Mickey. Super cute. I think this is very fitting. I love this. And then for the best part, we do have a boardwalk view. And oh, this is just so dreamy. This is incredible. So you can see Spaceship Earth. I'm sure we'll be able to see the fireworks tonight. Yacht and Beach Club. I mean, oh, this is worth the upgrade personally from the standard view, the garden pool view, you know, those are great. But if you can snag a boardwalk view, this is incredible. So the balconies are pretty tight. But you know what? I don't even care. <laughs> so you have your uh, two chairs, little table. So, I mean, it's not even truly enough space for two people to be out here and close the door without having to like squeeze together. But you know what? For this view, it doesn't even matter. It is so spectacular. All right, that wraps it up for today's room tour of this newly renovated deluxe studio here at Disney's Boardwalk Villas, our Boardwalk View room. This is just incredible. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. What do you think of this room? Would you stay here? Do you like the renovation? I would love to hear from you. Make sure that you are subscribed if you wanna catch more from this trip. Give this video a thumbs up if this room tour was helpful and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.